Hey everybody, we're going to do some value stuff. Uh, this is a thing all on the, uh, what is it called, information on value stuff. Uh, these are some examples of what your uh, exercise is going to look like when you're done. They can see there's hatching, cross-hatching, stippling, and blending. All right. Uh, so hatching is when the lines are going in the same direction. The more uh, lines that are going in the same direction, the darker it becomes. So this is a lots of lines. This is a whole lot of lines. It gets darker the more lines there are. Okay. Cross-hatching is the same, but the lines are going in different directions. So you can see it's different directions right here. Stippling is lots of dots. The more dots there are, the darker it gets. So less dots, lighter, more dots, darker. Blending, there's no lines. So it just looks like grays and stuff. So we've got light gray to dark gray. There's no lines. You don't see lines at all. All right. And I think that's it. Wow. Okay. We went through that fast. Um, and you can see here we've got, this is a value scale. It goes from light to dark. So this is pretty much what we're going to be making. All right, so I'm going to click on, uh, what's this? Click on that, see what that does. All right, oh, this is more advanced value stuff. Ooh, angled stroke. So let's hide that. You can check that out if you want to. I'll set this as a link. So uh, I'll click on one of these examples. Uh, so we we'll start with hatching. You can see there's nothing here because it's white. And we have light all in one direction, more in one direction, more, more, and more, more, and more, until it's completely black. Okay, same deal here, but we have going across, so cross hatching, like hashtag, right? Enough to where it's really dark. Same deal with the stippling, little, a lot. Blending, you can see a smooth, what's called gradation, it goes from light to dark without any lines. All right, so the way that we're gonna be doing this, in the assignment, which is right here, I'm gonna add that link, why not? So this is gonna be the link to the thing that I just showed you, the website, so it'll be right there. Um, the way you're going to do this is, uh, on the value worksheet thing, you can click it like this, you're going to download this image. I'm gonna double, Double tap it says save image. And I'm going to set it to desktop. Um, it says value worksheet. I'm going to go over to Chrome Canvas. You can see it says new from image. And then yeah, that thing that I just downloaded should be there. There it is, value worksheet. All right, and here we are. We have that the thing that I showed you the uh, example of. So this is this, but it's not filled in. So you'll fill that in. Um, now I'm gonna zoom in because zooming in is good. And for some reason my thingy is going real slow. There we go, whoa, whoa. All right, so I'm gonna start with hatching. Now I have the pencil selected. Let's just roll with the pencil being selected. And my, uh, okay, so lines in one direction, not a lot of lines, more lines here. more lines here and i think you get the point uh the more lines you have the better but all the lines are going in the same direction and at the very end you're going to have a whole lot of lines crazy amount of lines but again lines are going in the same direction uh now i'll go to the cross hatching uh, so here we have lines going in different directions, and the more lines you have, the darker it will be. So on, so on, until you get to here. Now, as you go, the thing that I've done is I'm saying this this white right here. We have two directions. There's three different directions. This one you can do four different directions. And what that will do is give you lots more lines if you're doing it in different directions, if that's how you want to roll. But different directions is important. All right. Uh, 
Let's go down. Stippling. Stippling is quite tedious. <laughs> but it's not too bad on a computer. And you see, the more you do, the darker it gets. Try not to hurt your screen doing this. All right. And the blending. Now, I was messing around with the different tools. I found that the chalk was actually quite awesome for this. So I'm going to start with one layer. And I'm going to go over here and try to make it really, really dark. And you can slowly blend it. So I'm getting lighter and lighter. Now these lines over here, I'm not sure I can do much with them. What you can do is go to opacity. And this would be like how hard you push down with the uh, tool. And so the more layers you build up, the darker it'll get. But the goal is to have it go from really light to really dark. The other thing you can do is you can go to white. And you can lighten up with the white if you want to. I can get rid of that line with the, the white. This would be like drawing with your eraser. So if you're having a tough time getting it lighter, you can do that. So this is the chalk tool that I'm using right there rather than the pencil. So that gives me a nice blend. So um, when you go up here, make sure yours, you can see it goes from light to dark, from light to dark, light to dark, light to dark. All right, and that is the show. Once you're done with this, uh, you can go back to the assignment, hit your turn in button. Oh yeah, you gotta um, attach it. You know how to do that. That'll be good. Have fun.